music in Seattle. It's part of our city's soul, its heartbeat. But what if that heart stopped beating? You're getting teeth. Yeah. Like, I'm going to remove one, but you're getting it back immediately. Good. And Today, like it's just a trip to the dentist right. for Lance Mercer. It's just funny. There's been a discussion. They're like, right. there's a little bit of a, like, what? You're getting new front teeth? But Mercer, a musician and legendary photographer who captured the meteoric rise of grunge in Seattle in the early 90s, was diagnosed in 2014 with stage 4 lymphoma, a potentially fatal blood cancer. One of the downsides of being self-employed is not having access to proper health care. You learn pretty quickly that the resources that are available to you are limited. Last year, I just came to terms with the fact that, that it's part of who I am. Mercer eventually found the chemo and stem cell treatment he needed, but he wasn't ready for the huge medical expenses that were out there waiting for him. I ended up in this place where I had major health issues. I mean, to date, my bills, I think, have, they've exceeded a million dollars. Local fundraisers, the nonprofit Music Cares, and the Affordable Care Act have helped Mercer pay down his debts. But unfortunately, his health problems didn't stop, as some post-chemo symptoms began affecting his teeth and his mental health. I started getting stressed out and worried, and it took up a whole day. Like, I'm not able to do anything else except focus on what am I going to do to take care of this. And that's where a group called SMASH takes center stage. Seattle Musicians Access to Sustainable Healthcare, launched in 2015. Musicians fill out a form, talk to SMASH administrators, and get free help navigating the health system. Based on income qualifications, come on, Flash. They can also get free medical services, like those provided by Lance's dentist, Dr. Chris Rafeth. There's no tooth there right now. Oh, that's why it feels weird. Rafeth, a musician himself, grew up in the Seattle music scene of the 90s. And, like many artists, remembers working two jobs without medical or dental insurance simply to get by. I was just living hour to hour, day to day, and just enjoying rehearsal, performance, going to work, paying the rent. <sighs> but he started paying it forward after finding a career in dentistry and hearing about Smash five years ago. Close and squeeze. I need a little bit of pressure there. Now he and a growing group of other doctors across Western Washington donate their services to Smash, with Smash paying for costs like supplies or appliances. Rafeth sees it as helping musicians who've helped him and his colleagues beyond measure. We're getting therapy from our artists as well as giving that therapy to them. I'm just providing that added bit of stability to allow them to free themselves of the stress or the drag that comes with the struggle of not having the chance to be as healthy as they can be. We do fund services. We pay for services. We have amazing providers that donate services. Rafeth and thousands of other screaming fans show their support each year at a star-studded benefit concert where Smash co-founder Ian Moore fantastic band. isn't just reaching out to donors, but to fellow musicians who've put their art first and their health second. I'll drive through a friggin' blizzard with like, you know, I could have an arm missing. I mean, I think I could play with one arm. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm, I can't, I hate canceling. A focus on improving self-care led Smash to launch a mental health campaign in April of 2020 on KISW Radio. Music industry studies say Half of musicians report dealing with depression, compared to less than 25% of people like you and me out there in the audience. Anybody that thinks they don't need a therapist just hasn't been to the therapist yet. Smash helps find therapy for musicians, or subsidizes payments to therapists they already have, and even helps them connect with telehealth therapy providers to break down any barriers to treatment. And I think that's the first thing, is taking the stigma out of saying, I need help. That help is literally a lifesaver for musicians all around Seattle. Research shows the average musician has a lifespan that's 25 years shorter than the average person's. 25 years. Just imagine how much music we're not hearing. If I could show you how many benefits I played for people that had preventable cancer, heart attacks, because they didn't have the health care they needed, and so they didn't get the care, and 
20 years down the road, you have a major, you know, healthcare. We don't need to have that stuff happen. And helping musicians pay for healthcare is a boost for the health of the entire music scene. Just ask Mike McCready. He played the 2022 Smash Benefit, but he's rocked the Moore Theater for decades, even before he was lead guitarist for Pearl Jam. Certainly, I've had a lot of success, and I'm very lucky and grateful for that. I mean, I, the first time I played at the Moore was 1983, so I've been, I've been in a metal band called Shadow, and we, so I've been in Seattle since I was forever, since I was four. What he's noticed over the years? The rising overall cost of living in Seattle, including medical care. Unfortunately, you know, with, with inflation and how much is, it is to live here, a lot of musicians, a lot of artists have had to move away, you know, down to Portland or wh wherever, and um, that's sad because it used to not be that way. That resonates with Death Cab for Cuties' Ben Gibbard, who shares McCready's concerns about the future of arts and culture in the Seattle area. Reports from King County show a third of people working in the arts are considering leaving it behind. You know, the 90s were great. I love the 90s. I lived through them. But I don't want that to be the end of the story for Seattle music. For him, Smash is a shot in the arm for Seattle musicians and the industry they're a part of. For artists of this era and for many years to come. If we want to still have a music scene, if we want to have a thriving music scene, we have to kind of cultivate uh, young artists now and not just sit on our laurels and talk about the good old days. Smash is celebrating those good old days. Is that okay right there, Mike? And working to ensure the beat goes on. Not too perfect, right? That's amazing. <laughs> it's something to smile about for artists like Lance Mercer, whose life and life's work, thanks to Smash, have plenty of encores still to come. It's more than just having a doctor. Uh, to me, Smash has meant that I can be comfortable and that I can know that if, I, if anything happens, that I have support. Watch City Stream Tuesday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or find us anytime online at seattlechannel.org.